Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's learn the data generating process and simulation using Stata. We can generate random numbers in Stata. We can control the data generating process and create data with particular properties. The generated variables can be used in the simulation. It is a powerful tool to evaluate different estimators and estimation methods. First, we can generate random numbers from different distribution functions. Let me show you how to generate random numbers from the two commonly used distributions, the normal distribution and the uniform distribution. We know that the random number generation functions such as R normal and R uniform do not produce truly random numbers, but pseudo random numbers. We use the seed to determine the sequence of numbers. We can set the seed the same value each time to get the same sequence of pseudo random numbers. We type set seed followed by any number we like, such as 8964. Then we set a sample size or the number of observations by typing set ops, followed by the number of observations we want, like 5000. Then we can generate variables with random values. We type generate E1 equals R normal. We now have 5000 observations in the dataset. Each value is randomly drawn from the standard normal distribution. We can also generate the variable E2 with 5000 random observations from the uniform distribution. The command summarize gives the summary statistics of E1 and E2. E1 has a mean around 0 and a standard deviation around 1. E2 has a mean of 0.5 and the values are between 0 and 1. The histograms of E1 and E2 confirm that the former is normally distributed and the latter is uniformly distributed. Similarly, we can generate a third variable, m, which is normally distributed. Now we have E1, E2, and m with long properties. The next step is to generate an outcome variable and explanatory variables based on E1, E2, and M. So the explanatory variables and the outcome variable also have the statistical properties we know. When we apply a particular estimation method to the data, we can examine how good is the method. Let's take the endogeneity problem as an example and see how the ORS and the IV estimation methods work under endogeneity. We generate the explanatory variable x, which is equal to m plus e1. e1 can be seen as the error term. We generate the outcome variable y, which is equal to 1 plus 1 times x plus the error term e1 plus e2. E1 plus E2 can be seen as the composite error term. This is the true relationship between Y and X. The coefficient of X is 1. The above is the data generating process. Let's see how the OLS works. We regress Y on X. The estimated coefficient of X is 1.5, but the true parameter is 1. Why is the OLS estimate biased? In our data generating process, x is correlated with the composite error term in the y equation because both x and y have the same component, e1. Since the explanatory variable x is correlated with the error term, the OLS estimate will be biased. To solve the endogeneity problem, we can add 
E1 to the model as a control variable. After parceling out the effect of E1, the OLS estimate for X is around 1. It is unbiased. However, E1 is something usually unobserved. We don't always have data on E1. Under the circumstances, we employ the instrumental variable method. Let's see how the instrumental variable method works. In order to use the IV method, we generate the instrumental variable C, which is random draws from the normal distribution. Then we regenerate the explanatory variable X and the outcome variable Y. X is still correlated with the composite at the term, so the OLS estimate is still biased. Notice that the instrumental variable Z is related to the endogenous explanatory variable x because x is a function of z in the data generating process. z is not correlated with the composite error term. Therefore, z is a valid instrumental variable for x. We use the iv regress command or the e regress command to perform the instrumental variable estimation. The estimates for x are approximately equal to 1 and therefore consistent. In this video, we have used the status random number generation capacity, data generating process, and simulation to investigate the properties of the OLS and IV estimation methods. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.